How many times do I have to record this until it's right? <laughs> hey everyone, super glad you're checking out my first video. Hang tight and find out how to make some delicious hummus. Start off with some cauliflower, cut it up for yourself. Roasting pan, some olive oil, salt. Have some tahini ready for yourself, lemon juice, and some cold water. Let's pop this sucker in the oven for about, I don't know, an hour and a half. Stirring constantly, you know, every 10 or so minutes. Don't let it get too brown. Let it get that nice caramelized roast cauliflower look. After an hour and a half, 400 degree oven, you see these char marks? This is what we want it to look like. We have some oil residue on the bottom. If it looks too much for you guys, just spill some of it out. If not, let's leave a little bit in there because oil is part of making a hummus. One of my favorite things to use is a hand emulsifier. This will be your best friend throughout the process. After you cool down your cauliflower, get some water, salt, pepper, lemon, tahini, mix it up. You can use a food processor, a hand blender, a mixer, whatever you feel comfortable with. Blend it up, puree it, garnish it, and eat it with this side of veggies. Gluten free and delicious. Roasted cauliflower is what I decided to show you guys today only because that is my favorite hummus to make. You can make your hummus however way you want. A typical hummus is made from garbanzo beans, also known as chickpeas. All the same rest of the steps are involved minus the cauliflower and you substitute it with whatever you like. You can do roasted red peppers, you can do beets, you can make it with pine nuts, you can mix and match anything you'd like. So if you guys get creative and have some ideas, definitely throw them my way and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!